Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building yet another infinity mirror. So this makes a really cool optical illusion that uses acrylic mirrors and a strip of NeoPixels. We're using the Itsy Bitsy with the NRF52840 so we can remotely control the LEDs. With the Bluefruit Connect app for iOS or Android, you can set different colors and animations. I designed the 3D printed parts so they snap fit together so it's pretty easy to build. I made it portable and added a rechargeable battery with the switch you can easily turn it off. In this video, we'll walk you through the assembly and show you how to build your own. The code for this project was written in Adafruit Circuit Python. It's really easy to set up hardware with Bluetooth using the BLE library for CircuitPython. With the LED animation library, you can customize the settings and create different effects. The code is on GitHub, so you can download and modify it to work with your projects. I designed the enclosure to house all the components so they snap fit together. I tend to make these parametric so it's easy to swap out different parts. So you can easily scale this up and I think it'd be cool to see a much bigger version. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. I cut a strip of NeoPixels so that it's long enough to wrap around the acrylic inside the case. I removed the sheathing because I find the hot glue sticks better to the back of the strip. I made sure to wire up the first LED using voltage, ground, and data in. I wired up a slide switch to the LiPo backpack so that we could turn the circuit on and off. This is wired to the bat, ground, and USB pins on the Itsy Bitsy board. This add-on board lets you recharge a LiPo battery over USB. You can plug in a LiPo directly into the JC port on the side of the board. I made sure to check the wiring and test the switch. The NeoPixel strip is wired to the pins on the bottom of the board so we can share the ground pin. With everything wired up, we can test the circuit out before installing it into the case. If you're new to electronics and just getting started, be sure to check out our learn guide. There you can follow along with the build photos and a wiring diagram. This roll of film has a one-way mirror finish that becomes transparent when it's lit from behind. I cut out a sheet and trimmed it down so that I could make several pieces that fit the acrylic disc. This way I have some extra copies in case I mess something up. I'm using this serving tray so that the soapy water doesn't get all over my work surface. Also using a pair of gloves so we can avoid smudges and fingerprints. The film has a protective backing that needs to be removed. Adding pieces of tape to the corners can help peel apart the two layers. These acrylic discs have backings on both sides, so you'll need to remove them as well. I used a spray bottle with soapy water to wet the surface of the acrylic. The sticky side of the film also needs to be wet, so I made sure to get total coverage. The trick is to use lots of soapy water so the two surfaces can adhere smoothly. Place the film over the acrylic and try to get it in the center. Lay the film on top and press down. I used the squeegee that came with the film and rinsed out all the water and air bubbles. I made sure to use plenty of paper towels to soak up all that water. I proceeded to squeegee the film until all of the soapy water has either been wiped away or dried out. Once both sides look good, I let the film dry for a few minutes before trimming the excess. I flipped it over and used a box cutter to trim along the edge on the outside. You want to be super careful not to scratch up the surface while doing this. This took me several times to get right, so it takes a bit of effort to get a nice finish. So with some practice and patience, we're able to get these two pieces. This 3D printed ring will help the NeoPixel strip stay in place. The strip is fitted inside and wraps around with the NeoPixels facing inwards. The wiring is fitted through a slit so it doesn't get kinked while installing the acrylic. I use dabs of hot glue to attach the strips of NeoPixels. This keeps the strip nicely secured so it stays in place. I made sure to keep testing the circuit so that I could catch any mistakes. It's a good idea to wipe down the acrylic before installing them into the case. The first piece press fits into the top cover with the mirror side facing inwards. The ring of pixels can then be fitted inside. Make sure the wiring is lined up with the slit. The second piece of acrylic can then be placed on top. You want to be sure to turn the circuit on to test out the effect. 
The frame can then pass through the electronics so it can be fitted into the top cover. These two parts snap fit together and they have pretty tight tolerances. You want to make sure the wiring is still lined up with the slits. The itsy bitsy can then be snap fitted into the bottom cover. Tabs on the side will keep it in place. The LiPo backpack also press fits and the slide switch is installed into a little holder. The switch is easily accessible on the outside of the bottom cover. With the parts in place, the battery can then be connected and tacked down. The bottom cover can now be snap fitted into the frame with the openings lined up. Turn it on, try it out, and there you have it. My final build has a few air bubbles, but overall, it's a pretty decent finish. I want to give a shout out to the NM Maker on YouTube for inspiring this project. Link to his video is in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.